Hey guys, it's Lorenzo from TYG here reviewing Cut the Rope for Android. I heard about this game from my girlfriend who has it for her iPhone, and I decided to try it out on my Nexus 7. This game is made by Zeptolab and is available for iOS, Android, and the Mac. At the time I bought this game from the Google Play Store, the HD version was not available for the Nexus 7 for some strange reason. But, as you will see from the gameplay footage, the graphics in the regular Android version of Cut the Rope are just fine on my N7. The premise of this game is simple and cute. A package arrives on your doorstep containing a ridiculously adorable little monster named Omnom. Your mission is to feed Omnom candy that is hanging from ropes and get it to land in his mouth where he will happily munch away on it. There are three stars to collect on each level, and you get bonus points the more of the stars you can get before feeding the candy to Omnom. Of course, in order to manage this, you will have to grapple with a wide array of action physics puzzles, which increase in complexity and difficulty as you progress. The levels are divided into boxes, with each box containing its own twist on the standard formula. Each box contains 25 levels, and at the time of this review, there are 11 boxes available in my version. This means there are 275 levels of fun to be had right now, and new boxes are added regularly. Each box also adds twists to the standard level type, such as candy catchers that you can move, blowers you can use to redirect swinging or floating candy, having to join two halves of candy in the Valentine box, and even electrified barriers. Having played through something like 150 levels already, I have to say I really like this game. It's simple, adorable, intuitive, fun, and very elegantly combines puzzle solving and action gameplay. Plus, with the small individual levels, it's great for being able to pick it up and put it down quickly, which is important in a mobile game. If I had to make any criticisms of this game, the only thing I can think of is that the detection boxes for the individual items you can interact with can be a little finicky when they're really close together. Then again, I have fairly big fingers, so this might not be an issue for anyone else. Overall, I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. If you've got a buck to throw at a game, you can't really go wrong with this one. It's a hell of a lot of fun, and with the regular edition of new levels by the developer, it's a game that keeps on growing. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review, and remember, check out www.thatsyogarbage.com.